That's it. <clears throat> What's up, folks? Kevin here, the Tattoo Toy Owner, along with my buddy, friend, co-host, Harry Sam NPR Vlogs on YouTube. And today is going to be episode two of the Savage Toy Show. Welcome back yeah. to the podcast channel. Finally, so we've been dying to make this video. Yeah, today. I mean... We both like uh, our beginnings for YouTube was set on like collecting, so this is like it's yeah. I, we really, I really enjoy doing this. I enjoyed the first one. Yeah, very happy to be doing the second one again. It <laughs> seems like our audience really enjoyed episode one too. Yeah, it did well, so that's exciting. Uh, this one again is going to be picked up, pick up where the last one left off. You know, a little bit about. What's being found right now, currently. Right. So the way I wanted to do this episode, basically I went on to our social media platforms, which I'm talking about basically Facebook and Instagram. Right. And, uh, all the we're old. Like, uh, we're not on Reddit and Twitter and Honky right, Honky yeah. and, you know, Donkey whatever. And we're not in all those other weird ones. We're just on Facebook and we're old. Yeah. We can only handle two social medias, guys. Sorry. That's right. I'm nearing 50. And I'm Attention be span, 50. man. It took me a while to figure out even Instagram. how. It I like Instagram now. Instagram. Instagram and me get along really good. Yeah. But that's it. I don't want to go any further, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's all we have the capacity for. We're old. I don't want to be taught a new trick. I'm an old dog. <laughs> <clears throat> so what I what I wanted to do, I just wanted to try it out as I went, and I found all the images, JPEGs, all the pictures of what hunters and collectors are picking up recently. Uh -huh. So I took all their photos. If they were like posted by whoever the collector is, I left their name on it. That way, we could yeah. see. they're already posting it publicly. So I wanted to kind of give them a shout out. Right, right, they're right. Finding stuff that's hard to find. So right. we have a little collage of images, pictures of everything being found in the last week or so. Uh -huh. and plus, we're gonna talk about our own stuff, my stuff, Harry's stuff, Dave's stuff. What's but uh, I wanted to start off with this little collage. Okay. <clears throat> you want me to go ahead and hit play? Or? Yeah, yeah. Some of it, the first few won't probably have names on it, but uh, most of it will. And Same these way. could be anything. They could be Funko Pops. They could be Marvel Legends. They could be Mezco. Okay. This is all. Nobody's <clears throat> images were stole deliberately. This is. Uh, Let's talk about this guy. I'm about to hit the pause button. All right. If it can appear for me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do you yeah, got, got on this, man? What's your thoughts on this thing? That's cool. I'm like <coughs> uh, impressed with the, the sculpting of the body. Uh -huh. Normally, what you find from Esco is the what people like to say, the pajamas. <coughs> like they, yeah. they have soft goods, and you don't see – you never see their body work on their figures. But they're showing here, you know, they can do it. I don't really see this. Doesn't look like it has ab crunch or mm -hmm. like that type of articulation. Right. So it's, in that respect, a lot of people don't like that. So I don't know how it's going to be accepted by the masses. But yeah. the sculpt itself, I really like. I think it's a lot of. You detail. never know. That could be just a figure for the product. You're you know, right. That could they be. They ship with an ab crunch. You never know. That could be the prototype, how they're starting it off because it's not released. That, that I will right say this is drastically different than what they're normally releasing. Absolutely. This is the most naked character they put out so far. I mean, it wouldn't be Conan if he had more clothes on than this. Yep, yeah, he doesn't wear a bunch of stuff. His ass <laughs> stayed naked. There was a lot of weapons and accessories. Look at that. That was his thing. He was butt naked and he could kill you with sharp things. <laughs> Absolutely. He's got like four different sets of killing hands. Uh-huh. Different uh, ancient underwear right here. Yeah. He's got his pimped out loincloth. He's got some. Look at that. Look at the detail clothes. on that, man. That looks legit. Like, yeah, it does. So, like a paleontologist found that in a dick site or something. Yeah, they cleaned it up a little and handed it off. I love the weaponry included with this. It's a nice mixture. Yeah. A lot of accessories. You got axe, swords. The sword with the curve right here, not just the straight. It's nice. Oh, he was equal opportunity to cut your head off, Conan was. He would use any sword. That's true. Have you watched uh have you ever watched uh Jason Momoa's Conan? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was pretty watchable. I thought that was another one critics had a parade with because that's what they get paid to do. 
But yeah, I yeah. thought it was enjoyable for what it was, and I think yeah. he deserves another crack at another movie. <clears throat> yeah, it was enjoyable. I enjoyed it. And he, as a young kid, those Sumerians are taught to be vicious. You know, he was a killer at yeah. 12 or whatever he was when he yeah. decapitated the enemy tribes. Yeah. I will say that uh, this looks like it is missing the sword that he had in the first film, the long, the big giant great sword, the two handed one he would use. Oh, yeah. Unless this sword? is it and the scale is off. Yeah, his dad's sword, the big sword that was. Yeah, he had that big two handed one. That's <clears throat> severely lacking from this image. But that's something that there's enough uh, weapon makers and other fig lines that you can get a sword like that easily. Yeah. Especially with mythic legions and whatnot. Yeah, that's true. I think this is going to be a nice toy for Mezco collectors. I'm not in that pay right. I'm not in that pay grade. This is out of my league. I would never. Eighty to one hundred dollars. I can't crazy. afford that shit. No. It hurts to think about. That's my <laughs> food budget every week. I can't spend that on a figure. Yeah, but this is twenty twenty five bucks. I would own this. But yeah, oh yeah, a KO of this, you know, would be entertaining. But I'll go ahead and move on to the next thing here. <clears throat> All right. So. This is the not the mama. This is a new uh -huh. line coming out. I guess someone was showing off. Yeah, I mean, it, it don't feel like this has been twenty plus years since this was on the air. Yeah, this was what an early nineties. Yeah, yeah, mid nineties. Yeah, I you know I didn't really watch it much. Really, but That's I knew what it was. You was into other things at that time. He was uh, in that age. Yeah. He <laughs> yeah. wasn't really holding your attention no more. I was busy. I was kind of like I was on the downward slope of my comic book days. And yeah, man. Busy at that time. With girls. Oh, this is causing a lot of chaos in the in the legends <laughs> collecting realm right now. Yeah, it, I've noticed people are like, it's hit or miss. They either find a million of them or no one can find them at all. They're not happy finding just one of these things. They want three. Yeah, because you get the head sculpts and you can like, yeah, definitely. I mean, this but there lies smart. the problem. You end up with so many extra heads just because you have three bodies. Yeah. It was a smart ploy by uh, Hasbro doing this. This is not the first figure, of course. They've done this with a few, several females, for sure. Yeah, they do this with females more than male characters, for sure. <clears throat> and some people can afford 60, 80 bucks plus to do this. I couldn't, but they want them bad, buddy. These are almost as valuable as carbonized Mandalorians, I do believe, right now. <laughs> Crazy. I do love the schoolgirl body mold. It looks cool. Uh huh. But yeah, it's. Do you know anything about this in the comics? Do you know <laughs> anything about, about this character? I do not. I, do I not don't. This character. Me neither. No, this, this is above my, my yeah. knowledge. She's got to be an X-Men character, but I do not remember that name. Mm -mm. This must be modern-day X-Men shit. Yeah. Nerd. What you got on this thing? Okay, this is the new DC line that they're coming out with. Uh -huh. uh, the little small figures, the three and three. The four Spin figures. Masters. Spin Masters, they're the little bitty figures, like three or yeah, four. Yeah, I've seen them today for the first time. They're four-inch scale. Now, this is one that David just showed us a picture of. He's actually... Uh -huh. I've seen him on Instagram and Facebook, but Dave yeah. is the first person I know of that actually found it at a Walmart. Yeah, so it comes. It's uh, this one is the regular shark face uh, king, uh -huh. shark, and that's like a mechanical suit he wears. Yeah, but they also make the the hammerhead shark version of this one, so they look good. Huh. You can't really tell from the picture how small it is, though. The small is the turnoff. Huh. Well, I mean, this, like real this is interesting because. It gives an opportunity for today's children to get interested in Batman. Absolutely. This is a really fun character that didn't get no play until recent time. I think when this became big was probably when uh, Flash started going up against him in the TV Flash. Yeah, series. yeah. Them doing it with CGI on that show. was. A, Other than that, if you're not an old school comic book, you're not going to see this guy ever because he didn't make You're just going to think it's a street shark knockoff. <clears throat> yeah. This is uh, some big ones coming up. and This is Easy e Funko Pop. They also what? have Tupac Shakur Funko Pops. They're real big in the Funko community right now. People are really looking for these. I have not seen this one yet in the wild. 
Uh, is this not just concept art? This is an actual purchasable pop. Yeah, this one's coming out, but this is probably like a prototype drawing of them. But yeah, this one's coming. It's it's already uh, that'll be a big seller, I'm sure. Definitely. <clears throat> These are big Walmart. These are the twenty dollar Iron Giant and Robbie that everybody's going goo goo gaga. Uh -huh. I seen them today for the first time. Yeah, they're pretty. They are. They're pretty good size. They're pretty good they're size. Big. I'll give them that. <clears throat> yeah, they're big. Twenty. They don't have much detail on them though. That's what I was gonna say. They're kind of, kind of cheaply made. You can see how they kept them in that twenty dollar uh, range. Yeah. But it's cool because everybody loved the Iron Giant cartoon and a character. Everybody's always wanted that. He had a little. Uh, oh, no, that uh, Vin Diesel is the voice of the Iron Giant. Yeah, that's awesome. <clears throat> it was really cool that he got a cameo in that real player one, or what was it called? Ready Player One? He got a little play in that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they used him in Ready Player One. Yeah, that was cool. Marvel's Vulture. So this is kind of a, just a repackage. Hot commodity right now. Before. I have uh -huh. this one in a two-pack from back in the day. So uh -huh. it's nothing new. It's a reused, it's a reused Vulture? <laughs> it's all reused, yeah. They're but wild. it comes with a young head, too, or is that not a young head? Uh, Yeah, the right side is a young head. The other one's like, the I think, a goblin or something. Like a, uh -huh. That's a the goblin. bad piece. Yeah. Because the goblin is the bath for that way. <clears throat> right. Yeah. Moving right along. So here's the Tupac I was talking about. This one right here. Uh, uh -huh. I was actually at GameStop earlier today, just several hours ago, talking to the manager of my local GameStop, and, and she had mentioned that this one came out and sold out immediately. The same day so, they put it on the shelf? The exact same day everybody bought them up. They, what they normally do is that they might get like whatever the pre-orders plus a few extra. Yeah. A few extra go quick. So this is out in the wild now. Is it exclusive to GameStop or any retailer? This is out for purchase. Yeah, this one, someone's already, this is out for purchase. It went quick though, so it's probably going to be hard to find unless you pre-ordered. So you'll be seeing these uh, scalped on eBay then? Yeah, these will be a billion dollars by next week. <laughs> the scalpers. Now, this is the classic suit Johnny Cage. This is from the original the original, original video game, original movie. Uh -huh. This is my choice. I, if I'm going to click, ever to click Marvel, I mean uh, Mortal Kombat, uh -huh. I want version one. I want their original suits. Right. <clears throat> I like this one because you can see his tattoos. You can see the jacket. And this is McFarlane toys, correct? Uh, it should be. Yeah, it looks like it's packaged up like a McFarland. I like that he has some glasses. <clears throat> I didn't get into these, but we have a lot of friends that are really into them. This is our buddy Christopher Smith. There's a credit to CB, oh. yeah. He also has a YouTube channel. Make sure to check him out. CB Hunts is what the yeah. YouTube channel is. He collects, Shout out he to collects CB, like yeah. stuff. It's not a vintage toy, but it's a retro throwback to the vintage. Mm -hmm. so that's his style, but he has some great stuff. He has some, he does really good reviews. He's out of H Town. He's in H Town. He's a local Texas boy, like the rest of us, like some of us. <clears throat> then we got Falcon six three nine two. This one right here, I thought was pretty cool because it. If you look at it, you think, "Oh, this is kind of targeted." A kitty, a kitty line. Right, but. If you really look at the build, this looks like our 90s toy biz at the same time to me. Just yeah. it has the real simple uh, uh -huh. articulation. It's only got like yeah. four point articulation, five point articulation. To me, it looks yeah. like a 90s throwback. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty cool. I mean, Venom is a hard character to fuck up. I mean, he's fairly yeah, he's simplistic in his look, you know. Big, solid, chunky dude, black and white. With Gotta have the giant tongue, the symbol, big teeth, and then. Lots of muscles, so this has all those. <laughs> the bigger, the better. Down there. Here's this another good big. friend of uh, the Savage Podcast. Yep, Big Sniffs. Big and Sniffs. So this is uh, that. Which is also uh, commonly referred to as uh, the Comic Coalition. 
Big Snips is his alternative IG page. I think he said the FBI was watching him on his other IG page. That's why he made space. Really? <laughs> Something gangster like that. He could be found on the Facebook. Toy yeah, he's like the feds was list. on me, so I made a new IG. I'm like, okay, fam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow you. <laughs> Looking out the window. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I've, I've seen this guy in a bunch of GameStops. This one's a pretty popular figure. Let me guess, twenty two ninety nine at GameStop? Yep, that's it. And I think this is going to be a movie coming out in the next year or so This of this character. So technically, is this, a, is this an MCU fig or is this a comic fig? Ah, that's a good question. The, the, the look of the face kind of feels like MCU-ish, but I have no uh -huh. idea who they... Until we see who they casted to portray him. Yeah, but I mean, it's weird to have the character, the figure, before we even know anything about the movie. So yeah, it wouldn't be the first time that's happened in this in this line. Spoiler alert! Comes with an awful lot of hands. Yeah, it's like thirty-two hands, man. He's a he's kind of a grabby guy. Titch. So I've seen some figures that are older about whatever uh -huh. this character is. So uh, this has so been around a while. This is. A very unique storyline, but I don't. Cthulhu really is what you call this thing. Yeah, there's a toy line called the Legend of Cthulhu or some shit. Yeah, there's and a the yeah. Cool. There's a tabletop RPG based on this thing. So that's probably where it came from. It's based on uh, HP Lovecraft or whatever. Mm. That guy. I've seen a toy line, and it's only like a wave of four characters. In there's there. a video game. There's a, RP, a desktop RPG and. There's lots of novels. It's a, okay. it's a thing. There's a lot of lore behind this creature. That's cool. It sounds He's it, it a pop culture nerd, like, <coughs> deity. He's a deity. Ah, oh, damn. Sarah Connor, this is Dark Fate Chase. This is so, a chase, yeah. eh? I've been wanting to see this movie. Uh-huh. Uh, right? I can't find it. Yeah, I think, well, no, I'm taking it back. You can get it on Prime for $25 right now. They don't, they uh, don't have to it. own it only. You can't rent it. You can it. only own it. You can't, you can't rent it yet. I hate that shit. I'm going to wait for it to rent. I don't want to jump into it that soon. I know, man. I, how are you going to make you buy it for $25? Uh, yeah. I'll wait till it's like $3 to rent. <laughs> what you got here? Now, this is the new reissue of Astro Train Transformer. Oh. This is, uh, just now circulating. I've actually seen like uh -huh. like our Nate, our Syndicate Santa, finding it in California. Yeah. Uh -huh. I actually today for the first time I've seen this in Walmart's. Did you? It's this is one of my favorite G one toys in the eighties. He uh -huh. goes. He's one of the very first triple changes we talked about: train, right. space shuttle, and robot. Right. <clears throat> I don't remember his robot form being this cool from the eighties. It wasn't. It was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it being this detailed. They definitely showed him some love on the redesign. Yeah, they did. They bulked him up. He's got a good size now. It was funny because he was That's like nice. a bit What's the like price this? point on him? <clears throat> this is $40. Which is good because I've seen the other ones come out at 50 starting. So uh, what is he? Wave, Prime, all of them came out at 50 This one, I, I'm pretty sure I saw thirty-nine ninety-six. Oh, it's ten dollars less. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Hasbro. It's very small compared to the other two, the re reissues they've just released. He comes in the G one style box, I assume. He does. <clears throat> this guy picked up. This is actually a vintage uh, toy, Starship Eternia. Now this uh -huh. was a. Uh, this was after uh, the major early eighties Mo Mo two figures came out. They uh -huh. it right. We had a. Uh, the animated cartoon, we had the toys. It was big. Then it tapered off and died out eventually. This was okay. their first attempt at at rekindling the fire of everybody wanting it. It was called He-Man, the uh, He-Man, the uh, next, no, uh, I can't remember. He-Man, the next generation or something. It was a reboot. It was a reboot. Of it, it was a reboot, and the toys were skinnier. Uh -huh. He-Man was a little wimpy and Skeletor, other uh -huh. than He-Man Skeletor, all the figures were brand new characters. We didn't get it any, was there was nobody else straddled. brought from we the original. Man. We, didn't, we didn't get Beast Man. <laughs> this was a whole new like uh, spin on it. So we got this from Retro Toys Madness. 
Uh, I've only seen this this channel on Instagram. I haven't seen him on YouTube as well. But he come he puts out some amazing vintage toys. If you like looking at that, I would strongly suggest to hit him up on Instagram. <coughs> I have two of these these toys. <coughs> no, I'm sorry. I got it. It's called He Man: The New Adventures. That's what the this new line is. <coughs> Did it get a cartoon as well? This got a cartoon and it was terrible. It failed. Failed. <laughs> so when the cartoon went off TV, the toy line was canceled, probably too. It, it yeah, they have some really cool characters and they're all original. None of them look like Beast Man and hmm. Mech and Man. It's interesting. I have those. Those are good. Failures are so collectible. <coughs> after. So here's another shot. Same guy. <coughs> and to be honest, I don't remember what these are. Me either. But they look awesome. I mean, these are definitely 80s, 90s. This definitely is based on a cartoon for sure. Yeah. Yeah, the characters look so unique. Have look, to do this one, different. it looks like somebody we used to know right here. Probably do. Probably. He looks like uh, he's a certain uh, a chicken fried. <laughs> we he's like know. battered and fried. Those are interesting. Yeah. Shout out to Retro Toys Madness. <clears throat> these are a new wave coming. I don't think anybody's found these yet, but a two pack of these two hot ladies can't beat that. Uh huh. <clears throat> Wilma and Velma. Lindsay. They look like they do the cartoon justice with these representations. A lot of these Funkos do. I mean, a lot of them have the big bulbous heads, and you're like, man, but some of them look great. We've talked about this. This is those, uh, this are the McFarland's runs at the DC line. Uh -huh. But this character here from Pop Junkie Monkeys, thank you for sharing this. He kind of has that uh, Batman Beyond look, but beefed up. I don't know what this character is, unless uh -huh. it's like a a tougher version of that suit of the yeah. Beyond I don't know uh, what top what what type <laughs> of this Batman is. Yeah. I love the Batman Beyond. That's like it's huge for the fans, for Batman fans. People love Batman Beyond. It's they, always a huge hit. There's a huge call following for Beyond for sure. It, it is. And I love the fact that it's a new person. But yeah, you know, they yeah, really need to do that in live action with the right guy as Terry McGinnis you know and who has Keaton to as Bruce Wayne. Absolutely. He's old man Bruce would be perfect for this storyline. Yeah, yeah. Keaton would be the ideal old Bruce. Oh, I would. Oh, I'd eat that. That thing. would make Warner Brothers so much money if they did that. If they were, yeah, if they were smart. But you would have to get the right guy to be Terry. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So here's another one. This is uh, what's it called? Always smiling Batman. It has a name. The bat Batman who laughs. Batman who laughs. There you go. <clears throat> it's a cool looking. I've seen this before for statues for toys in the past. Funko Pop. <clears throat> Very cool looking. I haven't seen this one in the wild yet. I've only uh -huh. seen everybody else. Batman. I guess this is one of the ones that is trending in the in this line. It's very popular. Yeah, this one because the character is uh, driven so many uh, book sales. The cover art of this character has sold a lot of books for DC. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I dig them. Pop Junkie Monkey, shout out. Bear, bear. So this right here. Man, 80s Boglins. This is a really uh, well-known toy that everybody wants to collect. Vintage collectors want this. They are friggin' rare and expensive. I have never seen these little Boglins like this. This looks like it has three in the package. Never seen this in my life. Yeah. Shout out again to Retro Toys Man. Yeah, this doesn't recollect <laughs> me. I can't remember these. I don't remember this ever coming out, this being a thing. I love it because I they look like gumball them. machine toys. To me. Yeah, but they're probably like expensive as hell. All right, we got Babe in Toyland collectibles. So here we have Serpentor, and he's got a couple pieces of his sled. This guy. Found. Uh -huh. This is a a little shout 
this is no one's seen it yet, but I have a complete Serpentor and sled that I picked up a while back. I've never put out in a video, never been in the hunt. I have it ready. I need to dig it up and make a video out of this. I uh, so, always wanted him as a kid, never got him. He was Especially amazing. Especially with the sled. He was amazing in the cartoon, the movie. I love yeah. this character. He's a uh, Cobra commander. He's I'm ball. pretty sure if I remember correctly, you could only get him if you ordered oh, from the little the little booklet that came with the toys. Ah, he was sense. sold in retail. You had to order him directly from Hasbro. You remember they were, <laughs> yeah, they, they've like, come out with you buy vehicles and jets, they would come with a little booklet showing the line. Mm -hmm. And uh, then at the end, there would be an order for him, and he had to get him from Hasbro directly. He's hard to find. He's very hard to find. He and the, I could be so wrong. Pieces to I'm build so that sleigh. Sure. It's a neat piece. Is. I have it all, though. <clears throat> yeah, we need to see my, that. And uh, this guy right this here. This looks like it's from Retro Madness again. Yeah, Retro Toys Madness. This is a knockoff, he man. Los Amos, so this is going to be a Mexico knockoff this guy found. These things are very rare, very expensive, very valuable. What's going uh, on with his eyes? He looks like he's seen some shit. He's a KO. He's made shitty. <laughs> he's a KO, but it's super collectible, the fact yeah. that he's a KO. Yeah. Uh, they, what they also did is somehow they got a hold of the molds. That's why the bodies look good. But the paint apps that they do, they do it by hand over there. That's why the eyes, certain <laughs> things look shitty. But yeah. the molds are like spot on. They just use yeah. plastic. But the molds are actually from the companies, the main companies. <clears throat> One of the things I want so much more than just this He-Man is they have the molds and they make wow. a perfect KO of uh, Battle Cat. But they make them yellow, red, like really cool. This is again from Babe and <laughs> Toyland Collectibles. This is an eight uh, mid-80s uh, Tiger Force G.I. Joe vehicle. Uh -huh. Like that a, a craft or something? <clears throat> right. This was this. Uh, I loved the original uh, when G.I. Joe came out in three and three quarters in the early 80s, like 82. I think they started. I was super into it. Yeah. Now, around 84 to 85, they started doing this this thing, which is called Tiger Force. The characters right. came out. Tiger right. Force goes the vehicles. I was in love with it, man. I still want to put a little Tiger Force team together for my collection. Yeah. It I looks awesome. It. I mean, the colors pop on this. Yeah, the Tiger Force paint job, and then all yeah. the characters have Tiger Force pants. Yeah. It's still vintage eighties. They were so affordable, you know. They were like three, four bucks a Joe back then. Yeah, they were. Oh yeah, good times. Shout out to Georgia. You know who else is in Georgia? Our buddy Do. <clears throat> oh, Do Dog. This was another eighties package where you can get this uh, slime. I never got slime. I never remember seeing it. Maybe I didn't have an interest, but they had these slime yeah. packages you could get where you could actually see There were several there. lines that used the same technology. Turtles yeah. had it. Uh, Toxic Crusaders used it. I was Absolutely. talking earlier yeah, like about uh, aliens. The aliens. Queen Alien Hive came with slime. Yeah. It was a common gimmick to bundle slime with your figures back then. That's for sure, yeah. Cool looking. Ghostbusters might have been the original line to start the fad, though. <clears throat> That's true. <clears throat> so we hear we have a venomized Spider-Man. I guess I had, this is Pop O'Clock. He's a really nice guy that I we chat a little bit every now and then on Instagram. <clears throat> <clears throat> Maximum Venom. Maximum venom. Interesting. Yeah. It doesn't look very without the teeth and the tongue, it don't really look venomized to me. This looks like the anti anti venom being venomized venomized. Oh venom. yeah, yeah. Not yeah. really the black venom. This is a classic blue venom that's been out for a hot minute. Yeah, classic comic book blue. Uh-huh. I think this was exclusive to Hot Topic for a little while. Or was that a different color? Pop Junkie Monkey. So this is a, I guess this is a comic book. Do you think it's comic or, because this does not look like Scarlett Johansson. 
That does not look like her, no, unless that's her so sister. It's got to be a comic book widow. Uh-huh. Pretty cool. Yeah, that doesn't look like Scar Jo. Not at all, but she looks good, though. What's up with the I white the box? <clears throat> They've been doing that white box now for a lot of shit. <laughs> it's got fire on the sides. <laughs> fire on the sides. Shout side. out to Toy Shiz. This is from Toy Shiz. He's a big yeah. Instagrammer. He is. So, Babe and Toyland Collectibles. This is an awesome uh, 80s G.I. Joe uh, jet. I can't yeah. remember the name of it off the top of my head, but I've always wanted it. I never. I don't think I've ever Look at that it. great price. He only wanted 35 for this. Lucky. That's what it says right there, 35 Dang. or 30 That's cheap, right, to be complete? For a complete vintage, yeah, yeah. You won't find it. it. Look at it. It's an immaculate shape. <clears throat> Again. A Georgia boy. So that's another G.I. Joe vehicle. Probably Cobra, but... Uh-huh. I think that's that one them twins would ride. Oh, Those Tomax. And make, yeah, Tomax. Mm-hmm. And Zaymont. This is their vehicle. It looks like it would be. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting looking. Vintage shout-out. <laughs> so... What's his name? This is Metalhead. Metalhead. There you go. I can't. It's too small for me to see. I remember <clears throat> this figure. Metalhead. Yeah, I remember the name. Yeah, this is a, he's a he's a cobra. I do believe. He looks like a bad guy. I don't trust him. Yeah, that that goatee. So, who do we have here? Can you see a name? Bazooka. I think that's Bazooka. Okay, this, I have a I have the original bazooka where he has like a football jersey that says fourteen. This one comes with a micro figure. See this right here? Yeah, that is weird. That looks three like three micro figure. <clears throat> that micro figure looks like Gun Ho. Gun Ho, that might be who this is. Gun Ho, maybe, or is it bazooka? I don't know. It looks like he had a bazooka. What is this? I thought this is Samurai Museum Tokyo. These Samurai toys look really cool. I don't know if they're KOs or what, or third party, but I thought yeah. they looked great. Those are toys? They're toys, I think. That's not images of real armor, like in a museum or something? I think it was toys, because that's all I really have subscribed to my channel. <laughs> I think it was. No, so this, another, might, uh, this might be Scarlo right here. Yeah, this could be her. Look uh, at that big-ass gun she's got there. She's packing heat. You don't want to fuck with <laughs> I wonder if she's got a, uh, a, sh a holster for this one. <coughs> I hate when it doesn't have a holster, but you have, like, what do you do with it? A handgun and a big gun. Like, obviously, a holster was necessary. Yeah, it would have been nice. I, I don't really have any interest in this wave, but and I do the, like uh, Red Guardian. So this is, like, a version 2 or 3 of Storm Shadow. Oh, I the love Storm, Storm Shadow, Shadow, man. Version one Storm Shadow was just a white yeah. ninja suit. This one has got the camo kind of, but this is what's going on with this uh, sword right here. This red one. I know in the backpack that kind of sticks out for him trying to blend in somewhere white. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy looking. I mean, it's still awesome. <clears throat> I would still take it if I could find it, but I like that he has a bow and arrow set there too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he did use that a lot. He was a range. Pop O'Clock, so is this some Dragon Ball characters? Zamu, Zamasu <sighs> in cold or gold? <clears throat> That's something we'd have our buddy jump in, uh, Tim. Overkill. Overkill would know it all. Yeah, he's got all of them and then so. This is going to be a big Walmart thing coming up, and this is Michael Jordan in his college suit, North Carolina suit. Uh huh. <clears throat> I was a big Jordan fan. Back in the day. When he played in North Carolina? Yeah, North Carolina. Then he's Oh shit. <laughs> here it is. So they got this the, is the uh, and they got the carbonite. This is the scalper's paradise right here. Yep, they rich. This is R Dones. That's our buddy Ricky Dones. Yeah. He has an another awesome uh YouTuber here. Make sure I haven't seen his content in a long time. Is he still no, uploading? Right. I don't know. I don't think he has this year, to be honest. He might have been I, one I, of them ones that got scared off by Copa. You're and right. deleted his channel. 
this is a recent this is like a not even a week old picture so he's still uploading the instagram so he's staying active on ig because he got scared of copa i bet probably so i went scared of we copa. lost a lot of toy tubers over copa but i already see a uh, dude posting on youtube again yeah that's wild isn't it <laughs> I didn't back up. I was like, I'm staying with Saeed. I know. Yeah. We, we knew. We figured it out. You know, toward the end, we knew. This is our buddy Mountain Dew Fan 07. I like these plushes. They kind of like feel like a vintage toy animated series throwbacks. Uh-huh. You're I, into I just that cost shit. You sure do love your Santa toys. <clears throat> yeah. And this is a buddy of mine, so I said, let's give him a little shout. Shout. So we already seen this one once. Now this is I Have a Toy Problem. A uh, gentleman that I'm uh, following and follows me picked up a nice legend there. I've never seen these in the wild. Uh -uh. I don't know if they're not released uh -uh. yet or what the story is. I don't think they're street date yet. So what? I really like this picture. in this picture. This is Chris Barcode. He has a really awesome looking uh, uh, diorama. I actually want to try to make something like this. This looks good. Yeah. This right here looks like that. A, that brickwork is incredible. Clean and then when it goes down to the cement bricks, yeah, love it. And this uh, yeah. toy looks like a 90s toy biz. This character, he, uh, is, uh, he used precision, you could tell he was precision with making that one. He measured it all off. Like when I do it, I don't care if all the bricks are different. <laughs> he did a good job, it looks clean. it looks phenomenal for sure. Shout out to Chris Barcode. So, this is probably, I guess, a Picked a two of these pictures. So we already been through this one. Oh no, this is another guy though. This is I have a toy problem again. Marvel Ranger. Is, I thought this was cool. Yeah. He's got the entire wave, and then he's got a, a Black Mantis in the middle there. Uh -huh. doing limbo. Cool. <coughs> Everybody. You still have. Limbo. You still I have, have that them. figure. I still have them. Yeah, I have all of them, except for the Mantis. So this is Tupac and Biggie. I have uh -huh. this notorious Big here. Uh, that's the one there, I there's two versions of this right one without the crown as well yeah one's in a ball cap and like a jersey like just chilling and then the crown it's like you can't own just one of those you need them both it's like Doritos <clears throat> I have this complete oh. and this is a Croc Master this is the original early 80s Croc Master of course yeah. this guy's only showing the card and he's showing the crocodile that came with him I love this character. It's really cool looking. It is cool looking. Yeah. So here's articulated uh, comic book art. So we got like, this is, uh, I put it down. I left it in there. It says Mayfix. <clears throat> this is a Mayfix Catwoman. It looks really cool. This is based yeah. on comic books, I imagine. <clears throat> yeah. Shout out to articulated comic book art. That's a cool looking figure. She's a sleek cat woman. Oh my I, god! This is uh, from Pop O'Clock. Now I'm gonna be honest. This is a uh, a secret dirty pleasure of mine. Is I love diners, drive-ins, and dive. I guess you would buy this. This is Guy Fieri. This is the the guy that that comes out on that show. You would buy this pop if you saw it. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of faced. I'm forcing myself out of pops, but yeah. they still coming out with shit I want, man. I like it. I like that it's very colorful. If somebody gifted you this pop, you wouldn't turn it down. Oh no, I'd be all about it. <laughs> this will go in my pop collection for sure. Can't believe like he has guy. a Foco pop, man. <clears throat> I have a connection to this show. I love it. So here we have the the Fantastic Four characters. These are the four new ones. Uh huh. I'm digging I seen it. They Johnny. I seen Johnny today at my local Walmart. He was the only one they had of the way. <clears throat> today I went to three or four Walmarts. Uh-huh. I've, I've been going to Walmarts almost daily. <coughs> I see you sure guys, have. <laughs> these guys, She-Hulk and Doom, I see everywhere. Those last uh, four days you worked straight, how many Walmarts you think you were in and out of? Ten. <laughs> At least a, a baker's dozen. <clears throat> a baker's dozen minus three. <clears throat> yeah. I've seen these guys a lot. Tommy the I mean, Cat 89. I think this is more for people who didn't get the Walgreens one. 
what I like better about these than the one than the Walgreens is these are matching. If you look at the Walgreens, oh yeah, different. All the blue shades are different. You're right. You're right. That's true. These are more oh. uniform. These are more uniform. Well, they were simultaneous release, whereas Walgreens, it was a several yeah. months in between the release, like sometimes years. Yeah. I don't know why they couldn't have kept it together. It started though. with Sue, or it started with Human Torch, and then Sue, and then Mr. Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic, and then finally Thing. Right. And then Surfer was in there, the Walgreens <coughs> Surfer. So another Babes and Toy collectibles. The Cobra Wolf. Cobra Wolf. This was a ski. This did not have uh, wheels. It had skis. So this is a snow vehicle, all-terrain snow vehicle. I had this as a kid, and I hated did it. You? I well, always it tried to make. I try. It did come with a pilot, but I always tried to make my brother trade me. He had got the Mud Buster, which was basically a Humvee. I, oh, I tried to make him give me the mud buster and he take this. Like we each got a vehicle that day. And he, and he, would, it, he, never, would, he would never give up his Humvee for this thing. And I don't blame him. Humvee's way cooler. Yeah. Especially I mean, you're in Louisiana. I was like, you don't even like Hummers. I'm like, give me that mud buster. He was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was a jerk about it. I was a sore loser. <laughs> it takes me back, dude. So we have blue glow. This is Miley Pops. And this is a. Was it say Jack Jack? Oh, that's not okay. This is like a Dragon Ball character. I'm sure. Yeah, that's Vegeta, but it does it ship like this, or did they customize it like that? That's a good question. I guess it could be. It yeah, looks cool. Yeah, I don't see Funko doing something that cool. That was probably modded. <clears throat> oh, now this. You have this a big connection to this toy. <laughs> this is the Cobra Pogo, and I actually own this complete, <laughs> minus the instructions. Yeah, I got to step away to blow my nose, but keep talking about it. <laughs> Talk about uh, G.I. Jose's connection to this vehicle. So G.I. Jose did do a, <laughs> a review on it. <laughs> it wasn't well-received review. And he's gone now. He lives in the valley. Close to Mexico, but I still keep in touch with you, Jose. But yeah, this uh, this uh, I always liked this toy. I remember seeing it in the eighties, mid to late eighties, mid eighties maybe. And uh, I do own this toy now. I have it has missiles. You don't see the missiles. I think they're not in this picture. But I do have it complete. It's a really cool looking vehicle. I think. <clears throat> Very cool. Babe in Toyland Collective. Okay, boss, I'm back. All right. Guess who's back. So, y'all, I'll never forget that moment when uh, G.I. Jose made his escape from the... From the... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, he bounced away. From the, uh, the illegals, whatever. Immigration... <laughs> Yeah. I love that <laughs> animation, dude. I thought that was so epic. <laughs> That's what you're it like. It feels like just yesterday that you did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about it. <laughs> hey, look. They really did ship that way with the blue eyes. Oh, yeah. There he is. He looks cool. I like that metallic blue looking color. I bet you that sells for a pretty penny on the uh, secondary market. For sure, yeah. The chase and all these different variants with the different stickers, all Those that dollar stickers. size, big money. That's why they're in protectors, dude. There's a big market for Dragon Ball, right? That's if very, you're buying yeah. something and it's in a protector, get ready to pony up. It ain't going to be a twenty dollar phone. Absolutely not. So this is a New York exclusive. This is the Mandalorian's a big deal too. So. <clears throat> I've not cool. seen any Mandalorian Funkos in the wild. Have you? Yeah, I've seen them all. Cause, uh, and what, at GameStop or something? There's a gentleman that I work with. His name is Alan. I'll put it out there. He's a Funko Pop collector. He's, uh -huh. he's two or three years older than me. He's two years older than me. Uh -huh. but he uh, he He's the one that owns all the, the rookie cards that I posted 
recently. Mm-hmm. They're his. Right. I'm trying to help him sell them. And uh, he is totally into Mandalorian Funko Pops and Star mm-hmm. Trooper Pops. He doesn't collect anything but Funko. I mean, I'm sorry, anything but Mandalorian and Star Troopers. That's, that's it. The he, he collects. That's the uh, <clears throat> and that's Vader, the uh, perimeters he's given himself to keep a cap. Yeah. Of the addiction. Not even he doesn't even collect all the Mandalorian characters. Just actual Mandalorian. Stormtroopers and Darth Vader, just those three things, and he, has he won't a even buy. A, he won't buy a Baby Yoda pop, <clears throat> and Baby Yoda pop. He did pre-order it, so I think this is a, is this another May fix? I think. Yeah, it is. <clears throat> so this is him with his uh, when he got the uh, Wakanda, the Wakanda shields. That was yeah. from Infinity War. So it's a good looking figure. That's like what he figure. was wearing when they were battling in the Serengeti. Yeah. In Wakanda, yeah, looks good. That's a solid looking. That looks like Chris Evans. Yeah, that is a good one. So this, uh, this is a, uh, this is our buddy Ricky Dones again. Uh, they've come out with uh-huh. a whole wave of Spider Man, the Spider Man suits. I've seen them in the wild. Yeah, I've seen uh, that bunny looking chick. I yeah. like that. You see down at the bottom right, that's that Octo Spider Man. I love that. Oh guy. yeah, he's popular. <clears throat> I don't know if you've ever watched that guy pounds nine six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He makes him custom. He does such a good job. And well, now this, they're making the, the cool thing about this one is Superior Spider Man was the storyline where Octavius was in Peter Parker's body. I love that story. And Peter Parker Peter, was in Octavius' body. dead body. Yeah, shitty beat up body dying. That storyline pissed a lot of comic fans off. It was awesome. <laughs> it was very ballsy of Marvel to do that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so I guess that uh, hobgoblin in the back was the bath. Huh? Yeah, that hobgo- uh, that demon goblin, they call him. So this is from Doodog, our buddy Doodog. Yeah. Preacher Man. This is a really good looking, uh, this is the Deadpool that I think is one of the most popular Deadpools out there. This is Juggernaut Wave Deadpool, isn't it? Yeah. This is the still biggest. a very valuable sawed off le- legend right here. <clears throat> Pretty hard to find. I mean, the juggernaut bath piece alone, or did this not even come with a bath piece? I, uh, what came either him or the Wolverine came with the head? Wolverine comes with the head, so it's definitely okay. Deadpool. I don't think he came. That's with why that. they loaded him down with so many accessories. Because he didn't get a piece. I. <laughs> I would buy this figure if I saw it at retail. Oh, but retail I, I, I would not pay <clears throat> secondary market prices for it. Can't do it. Just can't do it, Captain. I don't have the power. I would give a $20 bill for that, though. I'd drop it. I'd make it rain on up to $21 bills. What do we got here? <clears throat> this is the newest wave of uh, the. This is what is in Walmart. Lightning right is, they call it the power Lightning range. Collection. Roman on holiday. So this is a Canada US border. Uh-huh. So this is this is I'm seeing this every single Walmart I go into. This newest series is out that lightning collection or whatever. You've seen this this Tommy? All of these guys. I've seen all all th- these two Lord Drake on or whatever. This is supposed to be very sought after this one. <clears throat> yeah, I've seen so much time. this one. Yeah, I've seen them both. But this one. Now, I have recently subscribed to this guy's YouTube channel. Yeah. The one who was the original Red Ranger. Uh-huh. And I highly recommend checking it out. The original actor that was Jason, he talks about the day that he auditioned for the role and how insane it was, how many people showed up to audition to be in the way that they cast it for it in L.A., the story is pretty incredible, and all of the times he had to come back before he was finally chosen to be Jason. Wow, he really had to go all out, huh? It's an insane story, and I believe every word of it because he did not look like he was t- like the shit he was talking about. Didn't <clears throat> you can't write something like that? It was a real deal. Saban was a, a madman. <clears throat> so that looks like that same Mayfix, huh? Yeah, this is this Articulated is Times. Shout out okay. to Articulated Times. It's a good looking figure. That's a nice picture. That's some nice fig photography there. 
<coughs> yeah, you can tell he does that professionally. Something about the white background makes figs pop. So I love I would love the Toy Story more than ever now. Uh-huh. Yeah, I guess these couple of reasons. Yeah, there's a couple of reasons why they're so good, but yeah. we got uh, Woody and <laughs> Yeah, Woody for sure. Woody and uh, what's his name? Woody check. Check. <laughs> and Buzz. <laughs> Woody and Buzz. You can't have Woody without a Buzz, right, Kev? Yep. It's good looking. <clears throat> I think that's it, right? Is that the. I think that is, yeah. That's it. All right. Well, man, that took an hour. Yeah, that was, was fun, though, to see what our fellow collectors are picking up nowadays. Well, you should at least share with the Savage Toy Show what how, what an amazing day you had after a very trying January <coughs> on you because you've been hunting like a madman. And uh, you finally got some payoff today. Well deserved. So, for 2020, I told myself uh, I'm not going to just buy everything there is anymore. I want to slow down and I want to get the stuff that I really, really want. So, uh, what that did was slow down my content because I wasn't buying as much. So, my content's down to one or two videos a day. I really love the Masters of the WWE uh, first wave that came out. It consists of the ring with two characters, which is uh -huh. You Can't See Me, Cena. Uh -huh. And Terror Claws Triple H, the mashup right. of Mo2 and wrestling. And then it had four individually carded. This stuff was hitting North Texas, so I started going crazy and really hunting them down. It did not trickle into South Texas until recently, so I'm hitting upwards of total of 13 Walmarts. And I finally bought all the individual carded figures today. I got them all. I still haven't found the ring. But during my hunt for them, I found a lot of uh, great clearances. I got some Marvel Legends. Uh -huh. I got uh, those $20 rings they were coming out with. We talked about the WrestleMania. They have Net NXT, WrestleMania, SmackDown, and Raw rings. They were like uh -huh. 20 bucks. Right. They were all the same ring, but with the sticker difference. With a different sticker and different <clears throat> ropes. So I found one for, it was marked $11. I said, all right. So I got that. And when I went to check out the self checkout, it rang up as five bucks. It's going to be in the video I'm going to release this week. Beautiful. So I got it for only five dollars. That's and a great deal for the ring. Yeah, I also it's picked gonna, up. A, you're going to really like that when you do your wrestling section in the wait. toy room. That's going to be perfect for a little setup. I'm still going to get that Motu ring eventually and have them all next to each other. Well, I can't wait to see you use the the ring that Punisher. With the it's LJNs the, because it's a bigger scale ring. The LJNs will look perfect in that one. The, all my and I have I have like a good dozen LJN already, but yeah, that that ring is means a it's lot. It's gonna to look me. like a Royal Rumble in that ring when Custom you look made those for those yeah. yeah, it's gonna look good. I'm gonna feel it down. Like that's what I want. I want I actually to be honest with you, the the ninety Hasbro figures. I'm mm -hmm. actually gonna eventually buy the ninety Hasbro ring, the the real ring. So those characters go in that. This thing I bought today, the WrestleMania ring, I'm going to put all my retro Mattel in it. And then, of course, Punisher's uh, ring is going to be my – it's going to be a nice setup. But I got that ring today. I've got the entire wave of the, the WWE figures. Got them all, the Motu ones. And I also picked up the, the two-pack of the Transformer cassette tapes everybody's been wanting. Yeah, that was, those retail for like $20, right? And I got it, yeah, I got them for 10 something, like almost 11. On Half off is not bad. And it's the, the characters I like, which is Laser Beak and Rumble. Those were the two. So, aside from that, I, I got a Seamus. I got Seamus, the retro Mattel Seamus. Mm -hmm. I got a, a Gwenpool for 450. That I got ain't the, bad. Not at all. And then I got the original uh, Misty Knight for 450. The so I've I seen. Up, one legend at my Walmart tonight that was 450, and guess who it was? I want to say it was uh, the what's that, uh, the fiery chick? Yes, <clears throat> it yeah. was the Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel with the red hair. That's the only one. I've seen every Zillion. other legend at my Walmart is 16 something. Uh, she is they everywhere. Have that girl from Infinity War Wave One, Songbird, who is such a peg warmer. Yeah, I see she her too. Up 15s of them. 
But that <laughs> ugly ass Captain Marvel was four fifty. Yeah. <clears throat> you know the screw up thing about that Captain Marvel was when they were so stupid when they released it. I mean that when the movie came out, they should have dropped that. <laughs> but they waited till everything died down and then yeah. like Endgame Endgame had already before. come and gone and then it <laughs> No one gave a shit about that toy a half a year after the movie. <clears throat> and now, like like you said... Talking about distribution everywhere. nightmare. Hasbro. Yeah, too. that was ridiculous. I see them everywhere I go. There's like 30 of them for 450 They're going to be at five them. below before long. It'll be at five below. More expensive than one. I mean, who's going <laughs> to buy them even there? I mean, $5 is too much to charge for her. Yeah. Should now get you should get a positive credit at Walmart if you buy her of five dollars for taking it out of their store. Yeah, no kidding. Help them get rid of it, make room. Throw it away in their trash can when you leave. <laughs> you know who I saw for four fifty today? I probably should have got it. It was Talos, but I already have him. But that would have been a good army. Build. Yeah, he's a he, people army build him. Yeah. They uh, customize the outfit a little bit. They take the coat off. And it oh, makes true. it look like a generic non-Talos scroll. Right. Scroll. Scroll. Yeah, just a, a rando. <clears throat> yeah. So, so my, that's, that's my, my Walmart has a whopping three Black Series figures. There was the chick from from uh, Rise of Skywalker, the one that yeah. used to be a stormtrooper. Right, yeah. The, She's yeah, a good-looking figure. She's not there. a bad looking figure, but I have no interest in owning her as a character. I have no desire. I'm not invested in her character. No. I don't think I'll buy anything else that is Force Awakens related. I don't care what it is. I, I'm going to stick to original trilogy, Mandalorian, Solo. I mean, I'll fucking support sure. Solo over The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah. There's nothing worth grabbing out of that. Yeah, yeah. The, I don't care for like. I mean, that little robot's cute. You know, the couple things they came Dio. out. Dio, it's not worth like. No, thank you, Dio. I don't fucking want to buy you. No, thank you, sir. No, thank you. No, thank you. I don't. I'm gonna leave you on the shelf. You piece <laughs> of shit. <laughs> Walmart needs a reset because there's like it's. Dude, I'm there was like Star three Wars. vintage cards. That was it. They had three pegs. And each peg had one vintage cart each. That's how empty. And then nothing but a box full of fucking lightsabers that nobody's buying. The cheapy ones. Yeah, the ones that make no lights, no sound. The they're like ten dollars. They extend, and yeah. they they look like they're made out of Ray staff. And nobody's buying them. No one wants that. Damn it! As someone who loves Star Wars more than anything, it really hurts. I was, redoing, I was redoing my shelves. I don't know if you can tell or not. But now I have one, two, three, four. I, don't, I need to get my orientation right. I can't do it. But it's four shelves of Black Series. I've condensed my Marvel Legends to two and four for Black Series. And your wrestlers are kind of just... Oh, they're over to the side. They're not on the yeah. shelves. They're their own little section. I really, I think my most wanted toy right now is Drew McIntyre, Elite 71. That, it's Celebration. Of, it came out in November, so it's recent. So it's face scan. It's, it's him and the main roster. He actually comes with one of the Raw tag team titles because it was the time him and Ziggler had the belt <laughs> when it came out. So... Um, with his celebration of winning the Rumble in, in such a beautiful fashion, the way that he Claymore kicked Lesnar out of the Rumble, it was incredible. I, I really want that figure. And you know what? Looking at him toe to toe with Brock, yeah, Drew's a big mother broker. He's a big yeah, he, he's a fucking I didn't realize giant. He was able to, to yeah. match with him so well. I mean, he wasn't that size him. when they when they cut him loose and they released so him a few years ago. He was little, man. He was thin. He was thinner. Yeah. Now he's stocky. He's put on muscle. He's he's a beast. Yeah. Yeah. I wish he. They need to give him a, like a. I don't know. I guess they can keep him like that. Do you think they'll do some kind of gimmick with him or just keep? Him? I mean, his gimmick has always been 
watching him perform in the ring. The man loves professional wrestling. He's dedicated to the sport. This is a guy, his story is so phenomenal. Three-man band is a team of three. I remember the three-man band. They were jokes. They, they, barely, they, they booked them just to use them as a rodeo clown kind of sideshow. Yeah, and like, they were like the New Day. It was time to make cuts, and they released Jinder Mahal, and they released Drew McIntyre, and they keep Heath Slater. Heath Slater is a good old boy, and he has the right friends in the back who protected him. Yeah. He is the least athletic of the three, right. and they Those keep him. Dudes. So Drew goes back to the drawing board. He goes back home. He goes to Ireland. He gets in the independence immediately and he starts wrestling. He goes back to the basics and he rebuilds himself and comes back and then they beg his ass uh, we need you in NXT. You look phenomenal. You're a monster. Uh, come on back. We'll put you in NXT. And yeah, within a matter of months he had that world title. He was the NXT yeah. world title. But then he got injured. And he was on the bench, but he came back from that. And now to be the winner of the Royal Rumble over Roman Reigns, that was massive. I couldn't be more pleased. He had to earn to do that. He had to earn that. When he kicked Brock out, I knew that was that was a signal that, you know, they had finally get out it. the prophecy you know, of his original storyline from his old storyline from years ago was he was hand picked by Vince McMahon to be the future of the company. Like that was his storyline from like the early, the mid two thousands. You know, he was handpicked by Vince as this guy is the future of the sport. And then when they released him, everybody was like, well, that fizzled out great. You know, Yeah. now here he is fulfilling the prophecy. Yeah. He's, he's, he's phenomenal. Bottom line. <laughs> oh, what that fucking figure. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I've seen him or not. I it's Elite have. 71. It has awesome. It's two faces. You have one where his hair's in front of his face and one where his hair's back. Oh, and you don't see that much. It's, a, it's an excellent figure. It looks amazing. Yeah. It was actually on Cincy Nerd's runner-up list for under $60. No kidding. Yeah. You don't see Cincy buy a lot of wrestling toys. He's a wrestling fanatic, though. He loves to go to the shows, and he buys a fair share of them. He don't post about them much, but I guess that's he is. He does collect WWE figs. I have a renewed love too this year. Like I, well, you recently finally dove into the major wrestling figure podcast. Talk a little bit it. about how how much you're enjoying that channel. So this was something last year that Harry tried to turn me on to. But I was, I don't know, it's weird. It took me a while. I was into so much stuff and busy. But when I really sat down, which was recently, it was not even a month. January. This, I, this gloomy I, I January. This, well, he had to figure it out first on WWE Net channel. Right. Channel, called Figure right. It Out, which is basically the same format, but in right. a different brand. But uh, I watched a few of those. And then when I went to his channel, I just fell in love with it because... Also, like, you know, of course, I love, like, they're funny. The two dudes are fucking hilarious together. Yeah. Then they have, like, special guests a lot of the times. Yeah, and like then he, Mark. Even though What's he's, his like, name, the, Mark? Yeah. Well, he has his buddy, uh, Brian, right, Brian? Brian is uh, Hawk, Kurt Hawkins. Hawkins. Yeah. Right. So they're, they have good chemistry together. They're, they're funny as hell together. <clears throat> I like their chemistry when they're playing back and forth with each other. But I love, he's landing these great places. And he yeah. does it, even though, like, we love wrestling toys. Not everybody does, but he covers everything. Star Wars, toys, yeah. like, he goes through it all. And he yeah. buys a lot of that stuff. So we have But you can tell wrestling is his main love. Though. Yeah. And Hawkins only likes wrestling and baseball. That's all he ever gives a shit about. Or buying, uh, like, Toy Story for his daughter. Yeah. So, but it's they, fun uh, to watch them. They're funny. They're very complimentary in their styles. You know, they are. Uh, like Brian will get more import figures than, uh, and uh, Zach doesn't really care about the import figures like Japanese. Yeah, Brian's all about like he he wrestled in Japan for so long. Yeah, you know what I find really funny? <laughs> I love the fact that like, uh, 
what's his name? Uh, Zach, or what's his, uh-huh. his real name? Uh-huh. When he's like... Matt you know, Cardona, a.k.a. He's been, on he's been on TV forever. You think, oh, this guy's pretty wealthy. He can do whatever he wants. No, he actually sweats it when he's trying to haggle. Like, if he's trying to haggle someone on price, yeah. you can tell how intense it really is to him. It's not just he's throwing in, money away to him. His collection is worth a lot, man. He's got some <clears throat> amazing piece. They both do. Yeah. They have a lot of pieces that there aren't many of, you know, that are rare. He gets some really cool rare stuff, sign autographs, some of it. That's such a fun channel. If you're not watching the Major Wrestling Figure podcast and you love wrestling toys, you need to fix that. That channel is amazing. I also want to do uh, something like for this, for the podcast also, not to get off the toy sex subject, but I want to uh, develop what I'm going to call this weekend. You know, everybody's doing the this weekend, but it's going to be this weekend wrestling, and I want to cover uh-huh. the main highlights. The independent, of whether it's indie, yeah, independent, uh-huh. indie, indie wrestling uh-huh. underground, and NXT Raw. I want all of it. AEW. Oh, even if you could do it with me, mm-hmm. but like do a this weekend wrestling and talk about all the indie circuits and the main guys. Right. And even like, the Royal indies Rumble. will have a little portion Royal of the Rumble show this week. week. Right. And like I said, I don't know if you've gotten in NWA, but I mean, the people we loved in the early 2000s and uh-huh. 90s, they're all there. Uh-huh. Ton, Sprinkled you know? in with a few young guys, too. You got some young guys that are amazing, but I don't know if you remember Colt Cab- uh, Cabana, what's his name? Cole Cabana, Cabana, yeah. Yeah, very famous. Uh, he, was, uh, Anderson? he was one of the Mean Street Posse back in the day. Shane McMahon's. Yeah. Uh you got that. Well, we got, of course, Scott Siner, Big Papa Pumps there. You got Rock and Roll Express there. I mean, there's a ton <laughs> Their of asses are still Kenny wrestling. Anderson. Yeah. These dudes are wrestling. They look like they're 80. They're yeah, wrestling. Man, that's crazy, years. bro. And I don't even <laughs> want to go downstairs and get my mail half the time. <laughs> but I love that. And they're doing it just on YouTube, and the quality is phenomenal. And it's just a YouTube. They they're have no TV YouTube. deal, it's just YouTube. No, they're just like an amateur circuit. They're like traveling, and they're doing the circuit like amateur wrestling. They're doing the armories and gyms. And yeah. The small venues. But they got made, and uh, they have a lot of Impact wrestlers. Like, I guess when Impact collapsed, they got yeah. everybody. They, they got that, some uh, talent from there. They got that beer guy that always like, sorry about your James talent. Storm. James Storm, yeah. Uh-huh. A bunch of them from Impact are there. All of them, actually. Yeah. You were a so, big follower. You liked Impact. You was a TNA. I enjoyed man. Impact, but they had Sting. They had Mark. They had Angle. Back in the uh, five sided ring days, you were more than that. They had the Hardy Boys. They had Triple uh-huh. D. They AJ had, uh, back in the day. They had a lot of big names for a while. AJ and Samoa Joe had some wars on uh, TNA. AJ and Samoa Joe did go at it. They were big. The big rivalry guys. they had was legendary. But Impact was hard to deny that they didn't have the talent because. Every time people would leave uh, Raw, or, I mean, re- leave the WWE, they were there. So they got big names at times. They had like a lot of uh, UFC fighters. They had uh, Rampage Jackson there for a little bit. They had Tito Ortiz for a little bit. Like, yeah, <clears throat> it was an. Awesome oh, the Rio was on there. Yeah, they closed down. Oh, they had and uh, Shamrock. Hogan. Hulk Hogan was there for a long time. <coughs> Joker Sting, as you saw in the video. You Joker Sting. Said. Yeah, and we saw in the Major Figure podcast, he found a Joker Sting toy. He did. I, after I saw that, I looked on eBay, 100 bucks. Fuck. $100. 100 bucks for that Joker Loose Sting. Loose or mid on car? Yeah. <clears throat> so it's a good channel. I would highly suggest if you enjoy That channel's amazing. Wrestling toys or just vintage, or, they will find it, and they're funny. Yeah, but I was awesome. thinking me and you could develop something like that uh, this week in wrestling and yeah. just cover it because I've been watching a lot. Like I watch everybody that I can now. And I watch the Rumble and I watch last year's. I've been watching like the uh, ladders, the extreme rules. I've been watching everything I've missed now that I have the this, uh, this Rumble makes me hopeful for what kind of WrestleMania we have waiting for us this year. Yeah. I really think we're going to have a stellar WrestleMania this year. <laughs> If they were just going to hand it over, the the Royal Rumble win. If they were going to hand it over to Brock, it was going to be a shitty year again. Yeah, you know. But we got 
hope for new and changes. And- I see. I see Drew climbing the mountain and being the one to to not well, only. Definitely has a shot now. I mean, look, they booked Seth last year. Seth got his ass whooped 20 minutes straight, and then they let him pin Lesnar. It didn't make no sense. Someone like Drew, it's believable. It's realistic, yeah. Like, look at him. I mean, he's he he's half his age. He's just as strong. <coughs> he's not going to get fatigued. Now, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed the portion of the Rumble where Lesnar was dominating. I was enjoying it, but... I didn't want it to go the whole way, and Drew was the perfect man to put that shut that down. I liked older uh, back in the day Brock too, though, because like oh yeah, he could actually wrestle, get people in the Gamora lock, yeah, like, did stuff. It was fun. Yeah. He just he'll suplex you a few times and throw you out. Right, right. When he start taking the gloves off, <laughs> that's my buddy. Yeah, it was it was good. I enjoyed the Rumble. It was a fun weekend. Much. I mean, they stretched that girls rumble out so much they had to. Throw oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. In there. yeah. We don't. Have I didn't like that years. Charlotte one. I did not like Charlotte one. I wanted yeah. Shayna Baszler. There was there was better, but I did like some other aspects of the rumble. But that's for another time. We could talk about the rumble. Yeah. There was some good fights. I I really enjoyed like uh, Daniel Bryan. Uh, Daniel. Oh Bryan. yeah, I enjoyed it. Thank God we didn't have to put up with that horrible red light. <clears throat> yeah. They put an end to that shit. They just beat the shit out of each other, and they're all well. That was a violent match, dude. They were all bleeding from this. Daniel was giving him everything he had, and the Fiend just doesn't. He doesn't sell shit, dude. They weren't. They weren't pulling back when he kicked him in the face. That match. Yeah, I love that when he holds the arms and starts stomping. Yeah, I love when Daniel does that. But that mask doesn't have padding to take that. He was kicking the fuck out of. Yeah. Like you can't deny that that was. I right. love those kicks, dude. They are so fucking hardcore. They were nasty. Like they were hurting each other, and then uh, the fucking fiend was funny because he'd just be like, "Yeah, he enjoyed it. Yeah, more." He'd hit himself after. He'd be like, "Yeah, more." Damn, yeah, like, I don't want to beat this thing. You saw how much he struggled to get out of the ring. Yeah, he kept falling on the ramp. Yeah, no, they they, they beat each other's ass. You saw the whelps on his back from the strap. I love his belt. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, the we fiend. need a fiend. We need a fiend. Belt. Boy. Yeah, what is Mattel waiting for? I mean, that's an instant. How many Mattel months there? has he been a thing now, and we still don't have a figure? Yeah, shame on great. Mattel. <clears throat> it was good. I enjoyed it. That one, and there was another fight too that was really good. Uh, I did like the first one with a. Uh, the big dog, his fight was good. Oh yeah, the anywhere anything goes, whatever. Any last man standing. Yeah, and then there was, the another one potty. there was another man, uh, Mel's ch- uh, competition that I like, but I can't. I have to re- refresh. But I guess that's it. I guess we cut this off, huh? Cause yeah, my dog's biting me. I know what that means. <laughs> she wants her daddy back. Oh yeah. So this is going to be episode two of the Savage Toy Show. And uh, thank everybody for, if you've hung in this long, enjoy. I, both of them ended up being an hour each, just about. Yeah. <laughs> and I meant them to be 20 minutes, but oh. Yeah, yeah, but that's what happens when we get to talking, bud. Yeah, everybody's like, what the hell? You already talking about toys. We sure appreciate the people that listen. Sure enough. And we got a lot of things coming for the future, so hopefully we'll find something that you enjoy that you find entertaining. Because I like that it's a mix. Like, it's not just... Yeah, so it's not just toys, just movies, just TV. It's, it's everything. A, a variety of content. Yeah. So I guess we'll end it in this note. We'll kill it there. Stay savage. Until next time, stay savage. Peace.